Have you ever thought about pro wrestling as an Olympic sport? I mean, why would you? Apparently, it's not even a real sport. The punches are fake, the kicks are fake, most of the AEW Twitter bots are fake, and the results are fake unless you're Bret Hart in Montreal. So the very idea of pro wrestling as an Olympic sport sounds ridiculous, but it's not. And if any genre of fitness and competition should be considered as a bedrock Olympic sport, then look no further than professional wrestling. Hell, the Olympics used to have events for painting, architecture, music, poetry, and even literature. They literally used to give Olympic medals to writers. And that's the story of how Bix was in the Olympics. Seriously, no cap. I'll Google it right now. Bix in the Olympics. Oh, my bad. It says he was on Ozempic. Today, we're going to talk about why pro wrestling should absolutely be an Olympic sport, why pro wrestling fans and critics think it shouldn't, and the biggest hurdle that'll make wrestling as an Olympic sport next to impossible. And it has nothing to do with whether or not it's real. Subscribe in Swahili. The Google Dictionary defines sport as an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another for entertainment. By that definition, pro wrestling is a super sport. Fuck what you heard. Pro wrestling has the most fit athletes in the world, and this was before WWE partnered with the NIL to now train the world's best collegiate athletes. Pro wrestling is an activity involving nothing but physical exertion and skill. One of the greatest pro wrestlers of all time was an Olympic gold medalist in Kurt Angle, and many former Olympians have found success in pro wrestling. Is it predetermined? Yes. But there's also a whole other level of competition behind the scenes about who should win, how they should win, where they should win, etc. In fact, that in and of itself is the most competitive aspect of pro wrestling. Whether it's WWE, AEW, or even NXT these days, pro wrestling TV shows consistently rank number one on cable. This is an exciting sport with a loyal audience. Olympic pro wrestling would do better numbers than just about any Olympic sport. WWE is on fire, setting live gate numbers for both domestic and international shows, all while doing record viewership across all platforms in TV, cable, and streaming. When you think about the bigger draws in the Olympics, like ice skating or gymnastics, swimming, track, and field, nobody cares about these sports outside of the Olympics. Yet they're able to do Olympic sized ratings in the summer, provided they have big stars, compelling characters, elite winners, or all of the above. Pro wrestling has nothing but star power. That's what the business is built on. And the best wrestlers are the most compelling characters who make you care about them winning. Wrestlers train for years to be the best in the world and go through physical and personal evolutions to get there. There are also wrestling styles of every international flavor. American style wrestling, particularly WWE, favors the character work and larger than life aspect of wrestling. And while technical skill is important, it takes a back seat to storytelling. Lucha Libre is about acrobatics, using the ropes and high flying athleticism. Japanese wrestling showcases strong style, stiff strikes, and dropping your contemporaries on their head from time to time. Pray for them. British strong style is about precision and submission wrestling. Canadian wrestling is exactly like American wrestling, except they're so much nicer up there that a draw is worth more than a win. Plus, after every high spot, they say sorry about the maple leaves, eh? There's even soft ground wrestling in Africa, which is a real life version of subscribing in Swahili. Point is, every country has its own style and interpretation of pro wrestling, which would make it easier to present wrestling wrestling as an Olympic sport. Each different country could present its style of a wrestling match to see whose version deserves a gold medal. Medals and an Olympic pedigree could also help lesser known wrestlers by using the Olympics to market themselves to the indies or national promotions. The perception of wrestling has changed for the better over the years and WWE's move to Netflix will bring it one step closer to being mainstream. But there will always be a stench on pro wrestling where people from the outside looking in view it as a fake exhibition and a joke where oiled up athletes pretend to fight each other. <laughs> That's silly and fake. Why not watch something real and unscripted like reality TV or some sermon about everybody's magic friend in the sky? The difference between reality TV and pro wrestling is wrestling fans know what they're watching is scripted. But that element is what would make wrestling the perfect Olympic sport because you'd be able to judge the matches based on how they're laid out. Think of everything that goes into a great wrestling match. The pageantry, the crowd heat, charisma, the athleticism, technical skill. All of these can be categories to grade how great a wrestling match is. If Sling Blade Dave Meltzer can assign imaginary stars in a newsletter, 
than a panel of wrestling experts comprised of workers, bookers, or writers who have actually been in the business can grade a wrestling match. But therein lies the problem. In addition to pro wrestling's detractors outside of the sport, there are a lot of people within wrestling who believe strongly in protecting the business. I get it. Wrestling as an Olympic sport would mean the participants would, to some degree, have to admit that it's a work and they're being graded as two wrestlers working together to have a great match. So if judges are grading a wrestling match, it's basically an admission of guilt. Winning the match would come secondary to the presentation of the wrestlers and how they wrestle. But the theatric element of wrestling is what makes it so great and unique as a sport. Do you think pro wrestling will ever be an Olympic sport and why? It won't because it's subjective and it's not performance based. Wrestling is also a fashion show. It's a beauty contest. In the Olympics, it don't matter how you look. If you're fast, you're fast. If you're strong, you're strong. If you jump high, you jump high. If you swim fast, if you can flip better, it's about the performance. In wrestling, we're everything else. How you look, your presentation, your ability to, to articulate, your ability to get people to believe you to a point where they love you or hate you. Dominant Olympic athletes drive viewership, but they don't grow on trees. Swimming is still waiting for its next Michael Phelps, just like track and field is waiting for its next Usain Bolt. Though it's easier said than done, pro wrestling can just create stars out of thin air through strong booking. Rhea Ripley, Braun Breaker, Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, and Gunther have all become superstars through consistent booking and great stories. And that's just a short list. By adding wrestling as an Olympic sport, the genre would be even bigger internationally, which would boost ratings and attendance worldwide. Would it be exposing the business? Sure, fine. But WWE been told its audience it's a work. Vincent Kennedy McMahon got on TV this one time in the 90s and essentially admitted that none of this is real and we're gonna start booking more realistic characters. What followed was WWE's most successful boom period ever in the Attitude Era. WWE is currently in a boom period doing its biggest business ever. And they just aired a documentary about the behind the scenes booking of Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. I get wanting to protect the business, but there's no kayfabe left to protect. It's like being a security guard for a glass house in a war zone. Wanting to protect the wrestling business in 2024 is like taking your adult sons and daughters to meet Santa at the mall. They know he's not real, Luanda. The jig is up, my girl. As the wrestling business evolves, more people within wrestling will let go of the idea of kayfabe and be more open to pro wrestling in the Olympics. WWE airs thousands of hours of documentaries that take you behind the scenes of the wrestling business. Shouts to Friendly TV. And that trend will only continue. So the old school mentality about keeping it kayfabe is not the biggest issue that'll prevent wrestling from becoming an Olympic sport. The biggest problem pro wrestling faces in becoming an Olympic sport is pro wrestling, namely pro wrestling politics. Isn't it ironic that fake wrestling's biggest hurdle is also what makes it real? Remember, the Olympics doesn't pit sports leagues against one another, they pit countries against one another. So an American wrestling team could give us WWE wrestlers versus AEW wrestlers, like Cody Rhodes versus MJF, working together to have a gold medal match. The Japanese team could see EO Sky versus Riho. We could get Lucha Libre between Rey Mysterio and Rey Fenix. But the politics, egos, and bad blood involved would never let that happen. Imagine the toxicity and the tribalism. There would be way too many issues in putting together interpromotional matches for pro wrestling to ever truly coexist with the Olympics. Again, the fact that wrestling is fake actually helps its cause as an Olympic sport because judges can score the layout of a match. But the very real, very ubiquitous politics of pro wrestling makes it a virtual non-starter. I don't know, maybe the solution is WWE Americans have matches together, AEW Americans have matches together, and so on and so forth with every country. But the politics there are even uglier, because let's say a WWE match wins the gold over an AEW match, then those deranged AEW sickos would dig through Twitter like toxic honey badgers looking for some proof that an Olympic pro wrestling judge is a shill for WWE. Then they'll find them wearing macho man pajamas 
grandmas when he was like seven. They'll come for his whole life and the doxing on that judge would go crazy. These politics happen all over the world, by the way. Like the ongoing tensions between CMLL and AAA in Mexico. In some ways, Pro wrestling might be too real for the Olympics. Shit, pro wrestling is better off as an Olympics of which country has the most cutthroat wrestling politics. You can grade on a scale of percentage of wrestlers willing to do jobs, who gets heat for not shaking hands backstage, who gets the gold medal for having the booker's ear. You want real pro wrestling in the Olympics? You got it. I'm serious. Coming up on Pro Wrestling Bits, is WWE the new AEW? Is CM Punk the new Phil Brooks? And the latest on the Bobby Lashley Triple H drama that I warned you about months ago. Like this is literally a thumbnail from June of last year. Plus a whole bunch of bits that I think you'll really like. Check out this video of The Miz wildin' backstage in a real life shoot promo and subscribe. Should pro wrestling be an Olympic sport? Who would win the gold medal if it was? Tell me in the comments.